Hey YouTube fam, I want to just give you all a little story time about when I found a lump in my breast. Um, it was back in 2000. Um, for a little while I felt like a, not, it wasn't like a hard lump, but it was just something there, but it just felt too big. And at first I thought it was a clogged up milk duct because I breastfed all of my children. But then I was thinking like, no, I don't think it'll be that, you know, engorged, I guess. So I'm taking my daughter to her appointment and I asked our doctor, I said, um, when do you know women have their mammograms done? And she said, usually they're four years of age. And she said, sometimes they will do it as um, early as the age of 35 if it runs in a family or if it, um, if you feel alone. So I'm like, and she said, if you have, you know, if you feel like you feel alone for you have any thought that it, it could be something, just come in and not examine me. I'm like, okay, well, I don't need to because I'm not worried. Well, as the days go on, I'm like, no, uh, I can't. I can't just wait and just think it's gonna go away or figure that it's nothing. That's just me. So I scheduled an appointment and we got the appointment, she examined me and of course she was like, I feel the same thing that you feel. And she like, I'm gonna order you an ultrasound. I said, okay. So I go for the ultrasound a couple of days later. And he said he sees a dense, some dense tissue. That's what he said. And he was like, um, luckily she gave me a referral for a mammogram right away. So as soon as I finished my ultrasound, I did a mammogram. And he said, um, he did his, he did, he did the exam. And he also said that um, he did see a dense, you know, lump. So he would like to do a biopsy. So the next week I went in for my biopsy and it didn't hurt. It just, after he numbed me, um, it just, as he was doing the procedure, cause he had to collect some samples from the dense tissue. And it just, I just felt nauseous. Maybe cause I was extremely scared. And then plus it was like, it's just a weird feeling just cause he was going like this and stuff. And it just felt weird. It just made me nauseous. And after I was done, I had a bruise on my breast. And it was like uh, somebody just literally just punching me in my breast. Just, you know, but eventually, of course, it went away, the uh, bruise and the pain. So while all of this was happening, I was getting there, all my tests done, all my paperwork done for my midwife program. So I had to go get a TB test. Get all, you know, all the vaccinations, everything I need because I will be around, you know, mothers and, you know, newborn babies. And they want to make sure I was okay health-wise. So, um, by this time, it's December 22nd. I was supposed to go on for my appointment for all my tests for school. I'm like, no, nah, we're packing because we're going home for Christmas to see our family. So, I'm like, no, nah, I got to finish packing, packing our lunches, packing for the kids, myself. Then I got to drive. I'm going to be tired. So, I'm like, okay. I'm going to cancel these appointments and just do that. So I called, I canceled my appointment, um, my appointment, and they was like, would you like to reschedule now? And I was like, no, I can reschedule when I come back home. So not more than 30 minutes later, I get a call. They said, well, your doctor has some of your results, but she would like you to come in. I'm like, okay, I'll come in. Me thinking, like, I know they're not going to tell me on December 22nd, right before Christmas, I have breast cancer so I'm like no that's not what it is so maybe it's maybe it's a cyst some fluid filled up in there and it like it looked like a little lump but it's just really fluid um maybe it's I need a breast reduction because I was big busted I was very huge so <clears throat> excuse me so I go I go to the doctor's appointment and they take my blood pressure of course it was extremely high because I was so nervous. I was so scared. Oh, not to remind you, we only lived 10 minutes away from the, I'm so sorry, it's getting dark at light in here because it was bright. It was beautiful. I would not just start clouding up because it's raining, obviously. So that's why that light keep going, um, fade into like dark and then back to light. So sorry about that. But um, we only lived 10 minutes away from my doctor's office. And it felt like it was like 30 minutes because I'm sitting there as I'm driving. And I'm driving fast, but slow. It seemed fast to me, but I know I'm going under the speed limit. I'm like, 
it can't be breast cancer. If I wanted to run to my family, I just, I didn't understand. Like, no, it can't be breast cancer. It can't be that. Excuse me. It has to, let me get a drink of water. It has to be a cyst. It has to be just fluid or anything. Or anything. And so, uh, they, I go in. They clock me. They check me up. The, my blood pressure, my heartbeat, my heart rate, and all that. And like I said, of course, my blood pressure was extremely high because I was nervous. So, the doctor come in and she um, asks how I'm doing. I'm like, I'm doing good. Just nervous because I don't know what you, you exactly what you're going to say. And if you want to like to hear part two, please comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. You don't want to miss out. I really believe that this, these videos will help a lot of people, um, men and women, to make sure that you stay in tune with your body. Um, listen to your body. If you feel something is off, you feel something is wrong, go to the doctor's office because maybe nine, nine times out of ten is nothing, but that one time it could possibly be something. So just, it's better to be safe than sorry. So... Please listen to your body. I'm very in tune with mine, so that's why I decided to go to the doctor. That's why I decided to talk talk to you all about it because I want to inform other young ladies or young men or anybody that's um, maybe have felt a lump and just not even thought about it after that, like it's nothing or just thought that it's dense tissue or just anything, just nothing, but... It could possibly be nothing or it could be something. I just don't want you to just wait because you feel like, oh, no, it don't run in the family. Oh, no, it's nothing. Don't do that because that's what I did at first. And I was like, no, let me go ahead and go in because at the end of the day, I have, I want to live. <laughs> I have four kids to live for. And then also, I just believe that I'm to keep my body healthy and I can't keep it healthy if I don't know what's wrong with it. Think about that. So... That'll be all for today. Like I said, please subscribe, like, and hit, hit the notification bell. Please comment down below if you would like to hear part two of this story. And if you have any questions, if you have any um, video ideas or just anything you would like to ask for me to answer in a video, comment down below or email me. Thank you and have a good day. Peace.